In this video, we're going to learn how to set up live chat on our WooCommerce store. So to start, here's an example of a client we created their site for, for OneShot Media, that uses um, live chat. And in addition, I also wanted to show you guys another site that I've seen live chat on right here. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, um, they also have live chat. So without further ado, let's get into installing live chat on our WooCommerce store. The first thing we need to do is we need to create an account with live chat. So I'm going to go to simonagonic.com slash live chat and sign up for live chat. So I'm going to sign up and I already have an account. So that's why it showed up. But let me just put this in right here and I'm going to sign up for a free account. I'm going to be setting this up for a real site right now. Awesome. So I'm going to create my account. And the next thing I need to do is I need to wait for live chat to be set up. So it's going to be probably 10 seconds. So I'm going to choose to install live chat by myself. And I'm going to use the official live chat for WooCommerce plugin. But you also could manually install this on your site. For me, I'm going to install this using the live chat for WooCommerce plugin. So I have already um, downloaded and installed this free plugin, but you get you guys can also find this link in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to go to my dashboard of my Charlie's Coffee site right here, and I'm going to go to the WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, I have already installed uh, live chat for WooCommerce plugin, but you could also go to plugins, add new to install it. So I'm going to click connect and I am going to enter my credentials to sign in to live chat. Awesome. So I have successfully set up live chat on my store. And now if I visit a real page, I should be able to see this live chat widget show up on the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, I just got a, a voiceover from the live chat interface right here that um, someone in, I have a visitor in my online store. So as you can see, if I refresh this page again, I will be able to see the live chat widget. So if we want to customize this live chat widget to be more of our on our branding, what we can do is we can go to settings down here and we can go to the chat widget. And I want to click right here, customize your chat wid widget on your own website. So it says it's still not installed, but this will just show you guys a good visual. I think it just needs to refresh to see it's installed. But right here, we want to have, um, you, you can see this like modern, how the page changes to um, this, or we could have the bar or we could have the bubble. I'm going to stick with the bubble and I want this on the right hand side and not the left hand side. So let's add a little color maybe a color like that, or maybe something like this. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it at a random color or try to be more on brand. We also can add a custom hex color right here. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. And if I come back to my live chat settings, and let's just refresh this and see if everything is showing up correctly. Let's refresh this page. You guys may have to refresh the page or open in the page in a private window as well to see new visitor to see the changes effect or just clear your cache okay so i have live chat successfully installed and by default this is going to show on all pages so it's going to show on all pages on my site whether i'm on you know the home page a product page the track order page the my account page so to take this a step further i could also come back here and i can go down to chat settings, routing rules. So settings, chat settings, routing rules. So let's say I didn't want to have, you know, this show up on, you know, the, my account page, for example, I could add this, um, add this page rule and I could also route it to a different group, but I'm just going to turn the chat off when it goes to the, my account page. So let's save that rule. And now let's go back to the, my account page. And I can see that the chat widget is successfully off. But if I go back to the home page, the chat widget will show. So maybe this makes more sense for like blog rules. So you wouldn't have the chat widget show up on your blog post, but this is just an, an example of how to customize the settings. 
In addition, if I go back to this chat widget and I go down to this availability, I can all also customize this to only when agents are accepting chats. So I can do that. And I also can customize this when my team is away to customize the message. So I'm just going to use the same message that one shot used right here. We apologize, but we're not available right now. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to customize this message. Awesome. So let me customize that message. And I also could add elements right here of more things to add to this form that people see. Awesome. So the last thing I want to do is I want to go back to my chat widget and I want to customize the appearance more. So you can show it, uh, have the chat widget show on mobile or not show it on mobile. Um, you could turn it off on mobile. There's all like all sorts of customizations that you can do. You know, you can hide the agent's photo, you can hide the logo, you know, you can hide the sound, you know, there's a let customers rate ag agents after they, you know, fill out a chat request, etc. So that's basically it. Hopefully you guys got value out of this video about how to easily add live chat to your WooCommerce store. And if you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. All the links will be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.